Google Ad Manager has introduced two new reporting dimensions that can help you optimize your unified pricing rule strategies and implementation. These dimensions are called bid range and bid rejection reason. To get access to these data, go to your Google Ad Manager account and run a historical report type. The date range selected should be within the last 45 days, excluding today's date. Otherwise, it will show this error and the metrics required will not be available for a selection. Let's say, for instance, that I want to run a report covering the last 30 days. You may also add filters as needed, such as filtering by placement or by domain. Next, it's important that you include bid range and bid rejection reason as your dimensions. You can, of course, add more dimensions as needed, such as adding the date, so your data can be broken down by this dimension. Under metrics, scroll down or make sure to select all metrics here so all the available metrics are displayed. Look for the bids section and under that, you'll be able to find the metrics bid and average bid CPM. You can then go ahead and run the report. We can use the data from the report to make decisions about the setup of your unified pricing rules by reviewing bid density, bid ranges, and winning versus losing bids, you can strategize how to set floor prices and targeting criteria during unified pricing floor implementation. So what insights can these data actually provide you? So first, let's talk about bid range. This is the range within which the bid falls. Divided into 10 cent buckets, it can help us understand the performance of the unified pricing rules and adjust the rate to maximize revenue. Next is the bid rejection reason. This provides context as to why the bid lost or did not participate in the auction. Let's talk about these reasons in more detail. If it says winner, that means the bid won because it was not rejected for any reason. If the bid rejection reason says outbid, this simply means that the bid lost to another candidate in the auction. If it says floor, the bid lost because its CPM was below the seller's reserve. Another bid rejection reason is no consent. That means the bid lost because the associated GDPR ad technology provider did not have user consent. In relation to that, the next reason is unidentified vendor. That means the bid lost because the GDPR ad technology provider was unidentified. Next, if it says publisher blocked, that means the bid lost because it was blocked by the publisher's settings. Lastly, if the bid rejection reason says other, that means that the bid lost for another reason, such as URL filtering. These new reporting dimensions and metrics in Google Ad Manager are currently in beta, but are ready for you to use. To be able to use these data for unified pricing rules analysis, you must own or have access to an ad exchange account, since unified pricing rules are only available through a mapped or primary account. If you don't have access to an ad exchange account yet, you can work with trusted partners like Monetize More in order to take advantage of implementing unified pricing floors to maximize your overall revenue. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.